Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you my chemistry notes flip through. So a while back, I did my biology notes flip through and you guys seemed to like it. So here I am doing a chemistry one. So like biology, I self-learned this and I self-learned this because I thought I needed help. Because let me stress, I suck at chemistry. So I did it because I thought that I would need it for high school because I probably will take chemistry in high school. So I wanted to sort of like get to know the information a little bit better. So in these notes, you will actually see my changes in my handwriting. Like now you can see my old handwriting, how it's like the squashed version. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe my old handwriting, but you will really see it change along with some header changes. So. Something about chemistry. So I learned a big thing about chemistry and basically anything about studying this year. And that is that don't only re rely on like one source to learn something. Especially if you're learning by yourself like what I did. It was extremely hard to only learn from one source because my textbook is I believe the Princeton Review SAT chemistry book. and. In before, I only referenced to this book and nothing else, and I was so confused. So, um, beginning of this video, I showed you the light blue chapter the, about the chemical reactions and stoichiometry. I was so confused on stoichiometry, and I didn't know what to do, so that was really frustrating to me. So something I did was I went on Google, because Google is Google, and I went on Khan Academy. Khan Academy really did save me, and it taught me a valuable lesson to always look at multiple things so you can learn this thing better. Because now I'm a lot better at stoichiometry, even though I'm not that good at it, but it's definitely an improvement. So now you can see the full change of my sort of like notes. I'm now doing calligraphy as headers, and I am doing my regular handwriting. So this chapter, let me tell you, if you're referencing to my notes for like your notes, don't use asses and bases. I was so confused. I still need to reference to other sources to learn it better. So yeah, those post-it notes were me trying to collect my thoughts. Didn't work out, but I just stuck it in there because like, why not? So yeah, so that was my point. Always look for different sources. It will definitely help you. It's just like corroborating sources in history class. So now that we are kind of like nearing the end of this flip through, I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, this book also had like drills and stuff just like my biology textbook one and they're really really helpful. So next thing that will probably turn up on the next page, this meme was somewhere on the internet. I forgot what it was so I just decided to make it in this thing, it's not mine by the way, so that was something to keep in mind. But it did help, yeah. Okay, so I'm just talking about random stuff right now, so yeah, these are practice questions from Khan Academy, those are also really helpful, and we're nearing the end, so bye, thank you for watching.